And now, here's Ephraim. 7th of May, and our guest, by the way, uh, we have with us tonight uh, a gentleman who was with me last week, uh, Michael McKenzie, who will be co-hosting with me tonight. And along with Michael, uh, our guest this evening are a group called the Ramones. Here's a copy of their album. Can somebody get a shot of that? I see Ramon sitting there. Look at that. Rocket to Russia. Rocket to Russia. And this is the new album? Yeah. Uh, I went down to CBGB's on Friday night. There is Thursday a benefit. Thursday night. Yeah. There was, a ben there was a benefit concert for uh, a guy by the name of Blitz from the Dead Boys right. who was stabbed. Yeah. And he's in the hospital. He's out. He's out now? Yeah. How is he? White as a ghost, I heard. Yeah. And I must, I don't know what the capacity is of CBGBs. 150. The capacity is 150. <laughs> there were about uh, a thousand people right. <laughs> in the place. And you had that whole, you guys had that whole place jumping. I mean, people were falling off the floor, off the ceilings, off the walls. What is this phenomenon all about? What is this music to you guys? By the way, this is Joey, right? Yeah. And that's Dee Dee down at the end there. This is Michael McKenzie over and here. And this is Michael McKenzie over and, uh, here. We don't know and this guy, here right? on my left over here is Arturo, who is their art director. And uh, you did the cover, you did the album. Is this, is this yours? Uh, no, the John Holstrom did that. Uh, John Holstrom did that. And you, you do all their other... Uh, Right. Mix our I've clothes. Done, uh, Mix. I've done their work <laughs> for the two previous albums. Uh-huh. But I want to get back to the music first. Personally, I liked each and every song you did. Yeah. But I found that it was just, if I heard one cut, you it sounded terrific. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. The music was good. It kept you can't you can't sit still to that music. Going, huh? It just keeps you going. Uh, you want to know something that's really interesting? The first time I heard the album, I thought I heard every chord sounded the same. But I find that I can hardly the first album I'm talking about now. Yeah. Okay. Which was well, just, after you hear us, you can't go back to Led Zeppelin. You can't. <laughs> it's hard to listen can't to anything. Can't go back to the Grateful Dead. You can't listen to anything. It's like uh, uh, is the Grateful Dead still alive? Yeah, alive, and alive and well. Uh, we never tried to get into definition. We always tried to get out of it. Right. You know, and like whatever happened, just happened. Do you do you relate the punk scene here to the punk scene in England? Uh, in no, it? but it seems to you know tie in in with it somehow. But we don't relate it to it. When I first heard of punk, and I, w I've been, I was researching it for a movie we were working on, uh, the thing was that I heard was violence, knives, killing people, uh, just a very violent, non-commercial, non-scene. Nobody's going to go for it and everything else. And then I go down to the club, and the place is packed. I was there at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and there were people online for a show for Thursday night. I mean, there were people there since eight o'clock in the morning. I right. heard camping out. Camping why, out. Why is it catching on so big? We've worked real hard. Yeah. Right. Why? Why? Your music. Because it's great. That's why. You know? The I mean, Because people are bored and people are looking for something new and exciting. And music's been dead for a long time. And um, you know, things are starting to happen. Again. Why is the industry afraid of you guys? They're not. They've come around to us. We have a very good record company that distributes. Distributes. Sire. 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 See, well, there's, there's no, like, like what's ha what happened with FM, right? FM, like, it changed because, like, in the 60s, uh, everybody was open to listening to new things, and now there's more money in top 40 kind of stuff than, uh, you know, so, that, so they've changed over. There's no, like, progressive radio is dying, you know? And it, it's hurting, you know, it's hurting us, you know, it's hurting like everybody, I guess, except... It's hurting the little kids' ears. Yeah. That stuff. I can't see how um, kids can grow up on Leaf Garrett and uh, think they're, in, you know, Interrupted getting well. a fair deal, you know, <laughs> getting a fair shake, you know. Where you, you guys were on the, on the road for six months, yeah, touring just, the country. Yeah. How was the tour? How did the tour go? This one was our most successful tour. We've always um, been big in certain regions. Like we were always like, 
did well in California. We've done a lot of tours with the continent and Europe, but this time we could just actually go out and play anywhere and do well. You can't. You guys can't play at CBGBs anymore. Um, I mean, it's much too know. small. We, we did it, and it was fun for us. But I was worried about the audience. You know, they had to suffer, and I don't know if it. I know. mean, we. I mean, like we we couldn't play there. We did it for we did it for Johnny. Yeah, we know. weren't doing it for ourselves. Nah. You know, uh, you did I did it for free, that. right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, it was a benefit concert, but because you guys were playing there, uh, the place was so packed, you couldn't breathe. I mean, you couldn't uh, breathe. We there couldn't was, breathe either. I don't know how you guys could stand up there in that heat right and, and, <laughs> and really put on a show. You know, we, we should say that the, the benefit concert, by the way, is the Blitz concert, and it's it's for the. Um, the drummer of the Dead Boys was stabbed through the heart like four times, and uh, they all, the top punk acts, got together and you know they played for free. The Ramones played for free. The place was jammed. It was jammed three times beyond the capacity, and uh, you know anybody who could contribute any money to helping uh, Johnny, it would be appreciated. He's pretty He's tax deductible. Fucked up right now. Uh, that's true. Uh, is, there, is there any place, for anybody out there who would like to help out uh, Johnny Blitz, who just got out of the hospital, uh, where can they send the check to if they check want to? Check Dee Ramon. Preferably cash. Box office. I think you could send anything to Sire. Right. Or no, I don't send it there. there. They, um, they pay your advances on time? Yeah. All right. Yeah, we get treated real well. That's good credit. Right. Where are you, what are you guys going to be doing next? Uh, we're going to start a new album. You're going to start working on it? Yeah. So you're going to so be off the road for a while and you're going to be in town? Yeah. You're going to be, you know, we're starting at the end of the month. I, I was watching Mike Douglas a while ago, about a week ago, and they were talking about music and the punk scene, and you, your names came up again that uh, the Ramones are uh, the new phenomenon, the new happening. Yeah. How has it affected you guys? I mean, now that you're making bucks. Well, we're just, you know, like, I don't know what we are as part of the scene. We're just four guys from Queens, really. I'm just yes. talking in terms of now having some money uh, in your pocket. Uh, what is the money? Oh, you don't got money? <laughs> Where's the pocket? <laughs> the money's no good. You know? I don't know. I want different things now than I used to think I wanted. What, what, what are you looking for now? Yeah, stability. Oh, you got to talk into that mic. Bring that up or hold it or anything you want to do with it. You look more for stability now and right, try to, look to keep sweat your sanity, life out. You know, uh, to keep you safe. Hold on yeah. so you don't snap. Uh, you get into, uh, you know, like the, you know, Baba. <laughs> Baba. <Mayor> Baba. <laughs> <laughs> The, uh, with Payne Whitney, one of the other. Do you guys have right. trouble with girls trying Get to do uh, Yeah, art. we have a lot of trouble with girls. Right. Uh, what do you do about things like that? I mean, um, well, sometimes we have people to help us out. Um, do you ever need any help away. taking care of some of those girls? Just give me a call. It's not well, that we, we just brought like a few them. with us, you know. No. <laughs> okay. Just read a lot of nuts. Right. Uh, the, because of the way you guys dress, I, I was over at your place uh, Thursday afternoon, and you guys are really no different than any other guys having a good time, working hard, and doing your own thing. Uh, it's one way to put it. <laughs> he was running around the house shooting a BB gun at a bunch oh, of nine-year-old kids who <laughs> <laughs> was making them clean up the apartment. <laughs> Uh, I like the origin it. of that BB gun. Where it goes back a hundred years, you know, back 100 to years. Bi biblical times. A right? hundred years to biblical times. Right. I want to I open up the phones for a few minutes and just get an idea of what the people out there. Our number here is 473-5386. That number's tied. You can call 475-1550 uh, is another number which is still open and we can get to that. You having a good time? <laughs> good. I want to talk to you about these guys because you're not singing with them, so you're going to be straight with me. Right. Hello, you're live. Yeah, I was uh, sort of interested. Uh, do you gentlemen can prefer, you know... What's your first name? Mark, okay? Yeah, Mark. I was yeah. just wondering, what's the most important thing to you? Is it performing or is it the music? Like, what are you more interested in? Mm -hmm. Because I've always had a trouble, you know, making a distinction between whether it's, uh, you know, theater 
Have you ever heard the Ramones? What? Yes, I have. What do you think of the app? Uh, well, I try to remain, you know, objective to it, but I really don't like new wave music. Why? Why? Well, because it really doesn't have much to it, if you compare it to, let's say, somebody like Grover Washington, or, you know, a uh, good jazz musician, or even a good rock group. Let's click him off. You want to click him off? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, they want you to go. Hello, you're live. <laughs> Hello, Ephraim? Yes. Who's this? Scott Lesberg. Who? Scott Lesberg. Yes, Scott. Yeah, um... I'd like to uh, ask a question to the group. Okay. By the way, if people want to call up, our lines are free. 475-1550 and 473-5386. Yeah, go ahead, Scott. Uh, yeah, um, I'd like to know how the group uh, first came together. I guess through desperation. <laughs> Not a desperation. We just didn't know what else to do. We were getting... You know, we were all around 18 years old or so, we didn't know what else to do anymore. We didn't want to work. We, wanted to always, we always had a fantasy of trying to be a rock star or something, so we just did it. We've had a pretty natural development. We've had a lot of good, lucky breaks. How long has the group been together? About four and a half years. So it's not something that just happened no. overnight. No. Everybody talks about acts that happen right. overnight. That we have had yeah. overnight success, though. Right, we're a little bigger in uh, Portland than we were last week. <laughs> uh, <laughs> why? What happened in Portland last week? <laughs> <laughs> you have any other questions? Yeah. Um. Don't you uh, don't you think Ephraim is a damn fucking? Good try. Didn't get over though. Hello, you're live. Yes, Mr. Ramones. What? Can I talk to the Ramones? Yes, you can. This is the right question. You What's your first name? Old. Yeah. What? I really think your music sucks. Yeah? Let's click him off. Okay. Too. We'll click him off too. I don't know in terms of... You want me to... Our, our, our line is 473-5386 and 475-1550. Let's talk, let's talk about the kind of music you guys like, besides the Ramones. What, are they, what, what kind of music do you like? Very broad-minded, right, Joey? Yeah, but uh, we like, I like, you know, like, like I like, you like. <laughs> I like that? <laughs> I like Cheap Trick, though, they're my, they're my favorite group at the moment. Yeah, they're one of my favorites. I have Did you meet those guys? Yeah, yeah, we met them in uh, Rockford. We didn't really, you know, have much to say, but, you know, like, well, usually we meet all the rock stars. <laughs> I mean, all the rock stars. I, I went, I was at Blondie's concert at the Palladium uh, before I went over to see your show. Mm. Uh, and I always thought of Blondie in the same vein as the punk scene, but her, uh, her act was more straight rock and roll, wasn't it? Isn't it? I guess. He says so. that. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, so what else have you been doing? <laughs> Did, is your gun greased in oil? <laughs> Did you kill I those like, kids? <laughs> yeah. I'm looking for new kids. Anybody, uh, yeah. You look, Joey 15, Ramon though. needs someone to clean up the, uh, the loft. <laughs> right. All kids between the ages of 11 and 14 uh, who want to get shot with BB guns and <laughs> have a good time. Hello, you're live. Hi, I'd like to know why the Ramones are so popular. Danny, I can't hear him out here. I, hello? Yes. I'd like to know why the Ramones are so popular in China. I didn't know about that. I didn't know they were popular. Are you yeah, I read so that in the National uh, Lampoon. In National uh, Lampoon, huh? Uh. Do you believe what you read in National Lampoon? Uh, yeah, of course. Then you're, then you're in trouble. Why is that? Think about it a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night. <laughs> Hello, you're live. Hello. Yes. Hi, What's your first I'm name? Celise. Give it to me again. Elise. Elise? Yes. Hello, Alicia. How are you? How are you doing? Okay, babe. You're doing great. Well, thank you, darling. How's your old man? Pretty good. Yeah? You saying hello? Is he there? Yeah, sure. Mm. Is he nodding out yet? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did, uh, did Ramon start playing Brazil before? Did, have you ever played South America? Yeah. In yeah, Brazil? in Brazil. Played, uh, the Canary Islands. You played in Canary Islands. Right. Have you ever heard the room, the, the Ramones, the Maroons? <laughs> no, I never heard. But they are huh? great. I never heard. Ha but, uh, they are great. They are great looking. They're great looking, huh? Mm. 
Uh, they should blame Brazil. You know, we're going to end up playing a couple of cuts from the album, I think, tonight. So people out there who haven't had a chance to get a taste of the music could... I think a, that's a very good idea. You think that's a good idea? Yeah. Can you pay me for that? Uh, could you tell Dan, see if he can get some music uh, queued up in there? Okay, I'm going to go to another call. Alish? Okay, love. Have a good night. You too. Bye Sarah bye. says hi. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hello, you're live. Yeah, I wanted to ask. Something. Louder. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. You hear me now? Yep. What do you think of Led Zeppelin? What do I think of Led Zeppelin? Yeah. Uh, I have liked them, and uh, I have not liked I like them. I like Stairway to Heaven myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got another question. Yeah? How come, I don't know, I just think that recently, or like just in the last three Speak years, up loud. what's stopping the big rock groups from coming to Manhattan? Huh? What's Danny, a little louder. What's Hello? Yes. Give it to me again. What's, what's stopping the, the big stop rock from coming to Manhattan, Manhattan and Manhattan. doing concerts? Damn, I can't hear him. Right now. Yeah. You got me now? I got you. <laughs> All right. Speak loudly, though. All right. I'm speaking as loudly as I can. We can hear you. Shout it out there, you know. <laughs> We're a long way. Right. <laughs> Hello? Later to you. Hello, you. you're live. I know. Hello? Yes. Is there any beer left? What's your name? Mine? Yes. Oh my. Um, Becky. Um, I just wanted to know, the other night, were you there at CBGB's on Friday? This is to the Ramones. Because oh, I was there for Thursday. the Blitz. It was benefit. Thursday, though. Oh, you were just there Thursday. Because I didn't see you Friday. Oh, you thought you were the dictators, huh? No, no, no. <laughs> Oh, uh, were you over at CBGB's? Yeah, on Friday. Uh, what do you think of the Ramones? Well, I haven't heard much of their music. Uh, well, no. if, you, uh, if you listen to your TV now, Danny, could you put up one of the cuts? Could you tell Danny? Just stick your ears big. <laughs> to put up one of the cuts. And we're going to go to... Uh, stick your ear in the front. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> Uh, Blondie was going to, uh, Debbie Blondie was going to be here this evening, she said she's appearing tonight at this exact time over at, uh, CBGB uh. as part of the benefit for Lex. I'm getting a little bit more. Can we bring that up? hope so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're working on it in there. Okay, I'm gonna clear the line here. Can we have that? Uh, if for anybody who wants to call up, uh, line three, four, seven, five, one. This is a great night tonight. Everything's happening. Four. Okay, we're back. Well, audio. 
Let's go to the phone. Hello, you're live. Well, I'm back again. <laughs> yeah, back again. <laughs> I just want to know what you think about like being called like a punk rock band. Do you like that, or do you put it, you know? Because I just think it's a low name, but I don't think I would call you punk really. Well, just lively and you know, youthful. But what do you think of, you know, the name punk? Hey, punk. What do you think? <laughs> well, I like lively and youthful. <laughs> what? No, uh, I don't know. Uh, you can call us whatever you want, you know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, someone's gonna, someone's gonna tell you you're punk even if you say you're not or whatever. You always got something to say. Right. I don't know. I just think that it's a. I don't know. You know, we're really well, you know. to me. We're not offended by it. Right. Like, you're not offended. Yeah. Go ahead. Finish what you were gonna say. Oh well, I'm nothing. <laughs> just it was interesting to listen to. Okay. Okay. We'll Come play on. some more a little later on in the show. All right. Sure, Have a good night. Yeah. Hello, you're live. Hello, yeah, Ephraim. Yeah. Yeah, um, from what, from what I know about the group, they're a bunch of... Ha, 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 Hey, how are you? This guy, every, he hasn't missed a week. Wow. <laughs> he hasn't missed a week. Four times a week, usually. Okay, hello, you're live. Ephraim Allen, could I... Yes? Hi, Ephraim. Yes? There's, this call has not been screened yet, okay? Okay, I'll get off it. Our number is 473-5386 and 475-1550. If you'd like to get through, we have some free lines. Uh, I'd like to, if we could, zoom in on Arturo's belt buckle, which is the symbol of the Ramones that Arturo came up with, which I think is pretty, pretty great. I mean, how American can you get? Right. The eagle with a baseball bat. <laughs> there it is, kids. You know, if you think this is an anti-American communist band, you're wrong. No, we're, right, we're very American. Do you think the punk movement is like a really American trip? No. No? Mm -hmm. How, why do you think you're bigger in like, I mean, like you had a top ten single in England. What, what was your best single in America? Sheena? Sheena? Yeah, Rockaway Beach, I guess. Oh, Rockaway hey, Beach. Hey, I used to go to Rockaway Beach every summer. Yeah? Yeah. Yes, too. Did you go to Rockaway really? Beach? Yeah, beach 57th sure. Street. Right. Is that I mean, where you went yeah, to? 116. 116th Street, down by the park. Uh, yeah, I know the area really well. La, I, La, where did Sheena go to on the American charts? She went to Rockaway Beach. She went to Rockaway Beach. Hello, you're live. This is uh, Anything Goes tonight, folks. So uh, I don't know what's going to happen. You're live. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Is that your yes. yes. What's your first uh, name? What's that? What's like your first name? Russ. Yes, Russ. Uh, was, was the Ramones, uh, did they pick up on their act from Gene Vincent? Yeah. Great man. We like, we like that, you know, like, we like rock building. Now he turned on his act. They're not going to hear you unless you hold that mic or play with it. No, we, we like that, that stuff. stuff, you know? You know. You pull it out what, here. what about yeah. Buddy Holly, too? Buddy Holly is all like one of our main men. Yeah, that's great stuff. Really like your, your act. Have you, have you caught the act? Yeah. Where have you seen them? CBGB. Uh, what do you think of the scene down at CBGB's? Too crowded. Yeah, I sympathize. Um, well, do you think that it's going to expand to other clubs in the city? Of course. I don't know. Like, we're sort of out of the clubs. I think it's going to expand to Studio 54. I think it's going to move up to 54. But I don't know. to our manager. <laughs> <laughs> Are they going to go see the new Buddy Holly movie? I am. I, the first time I heard about it was today. Oh, yeah, it's opening up in Lubbock, Texas on May 20th. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. If I'm not there, I'm in it. We got the car, yeah. We got the car. Lubbock, Texas is where he was born. Is that where he's from? Yeah. He's from, Te he's from Lubbock, right? Right. And we do really well in Texas. We've done two tours of Texas already. Everywhere there is in Texas, we've been. <laughs> What do you think of Texas? I, I like Texas, it. We all like it. And the it. people in Texas believe there is no other place in the world but Texas. And if you want They're anything, you can always people. find it in Texas. But uh, we almost got killed like there. Texas. We almost got killed a couple times. How yeah. so? We had guns pulled on us and a lot of things. Wow. Um, but once the people got to understand us, you know, they put them away. Do you? What do you mean understand you? 
No, like they always want to give you a break. I guess they don't. They don't. Yeah. Shoot and <laughs> 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 You have any other questions? Yeah. Did you ever hear of King Root? Who? Who? King Root. King Root. Uh, no. King Root. <laughs> Who is he? Don Rickles. Who is he? I heard of Flip Wilson. Wilson. Okay, thanks a lot. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hello, you're live. Yes, hello. My name is Jackie, and I'm addressing yes, this question to all the members in the group. Um, what is your opinion on disco music as compared to punk rock? I like Dinah Summers. Love to love you. I don't know. What a ridiculous question. I think it, you know, uh, I think you're talking apples and pears. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just want to know if they like any kind of discotheque music. And we're talking granola. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you like discotheque? Do, have, do you like to go, have you ever gone out dancing, yeah. disco dancing? Yeah. Dee Dee has, I don't know how to dance. Joey doesn't know how to dance, but Dee Dee does. Have you, you ever go out dancing? Uh, no, I haven't for years. How did you tie up with these guys? Well, it was about right. three and a half years ago that uh, I was uh, I was sick of everybody. <laughs> I didn't like any other bands, you know. Uh, I didn't like what was going on. I didn't like the music. I didn't like, uh, <laughs> what, you know, anything. What they were writing, and then I saw the Ramones, and I said, uh, you know, this is the beginning of something very powerful, something very important, something very pure, you know, and. Uh, I invited them uh, over to my loft, and they saw my artwork. And uh, was that your loft I went to? Yeah, right. Yeah. And they just moved in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just moved in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just moved in, you know. And uh, then I started doing artwork for them, you know, all kinds of things. And uh, they are still the only band uh, that I really like. I don't like any other kind of music except uh, radio, which to me is something completely different. I can listen to radio and I can... I love Elton John on the radio, I love uh, ABBA on the radio, or the Bee Gees, but uh, they don't mean anything to me. It's radio. Why do you think that these guys here, when they go up on stage, create such an energy in the audience? Not so much from what they're doing on stage, but from the audience themselves. Well. It's like uh, it's like the difference between looking uh, looking at let's say you're looking at through Wii magazine or something like that, and you're looking at a photograph of a real nice looking girl. You know that's to me <laughs> the rest of the music. But the Ramones is the real thing. The Ramones is like really making love to the girl. That's you know? a good analogy. Let's go back here and see what's happening over here. We got a lot of phone calls coming in. Hello, you're live. Um, what basically do you want to stress in your music? Basically, you know, like your philosophy or whatever. Mm -hmm. Our philosophy. You know. No, we're we're into um we're into like having a good time and we're right. into like exciting music and. Um, but what about like foundations? Huh? It's exciting and everything. Foundations. Foundations. But, like Savoy Brown. Well, we're into. We're also into melody. You know, we like songs. Right. songs just appeared since the '60s and every. Do you like Savoy Brown? Too, uh, huh? Do you like Savoy Brown? No. 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 Well, I don't know. I I never really. I heard one song by them once. Which one? <laughs> What's a hit? Do they have a hit? No. They had a lot of hits. <laughs> 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 I like the young rascals. Oh, God. What kind of music do you like? <laughs> Me? Yeah. Well, I like no. Space Boogie and I like Energetic. Space Boogie. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite I like Elvis Costello and I like the jam. Holy shit. Oh, boy. Uh, but Elvis I went to last night and it was very mediocre. Oh, I'm going to go with At the Palladium. <laughs> Someone doesn't like that. He didn't like that at all. No, no I don't like Elvis Costello. He's all right. I mean, I guess he's good, you know. He wasn't. <laughs> but um. <laughs> 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 but but I I just there's something about him that rubs me wrong, you know. Yeah, he looks like the kid that did all the science projects in <laughs> high school, you know. Well, the kind of kid that you wanted to put a frog in his sandwich. No, but I like I like that song. Um, There's no action. That song. Yeah, no action. That's yeah, off this year's yeah. model. His newest. Okay. But, but 
I just wanted to say, I, you know, it would be good if you'd stress something, you, you know, besides just fun and everything, because there Let are a lot of... something, why? Why? Yeah. Because there is so much in the world, you know, that we should be... Why should they have to do it? You should write a song on power. Why should they, excuse me, why should they have to do it? Why can't they just have a good time? They can have, you no, can't just no, always no, have a good time. Sucks. There's nothing good. Everything sucks, you know? And yeah, like, a lot of like, things and the, suck. And the English are all into political crap, and, um, and we don't want to be depressed, you know, we want to... Yeah, have, I know, but we want, I we mean... We don't want to hear about how bad things are, you know? I know, but with the power quad, like, I love to smoke pot, no look what's happening. That, the know? money that... I don't like to pay taxes, but they, what they do get from me is going to power quad, and it's going to all the other idiots. So? So, it, I, you know, I care about it, and if other people would be more, you know... Okay, so it's your job to do it, then right. why put it on them? Because I don't have any, I don't have any stands, I, you know, <laughs> no one will listen to me. <laughs> We're listening to you. Yeah, but you're the only one. You know, other people listen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of people feel this way, but you can't just like, for you it's fun, and you can, you know, all, you know, all have a lot of fun, fun for but us. for people who, you know, don't make it, or, you know, whatever you want to call well, it. Well, you gotta do, you don't, you know. It's good to have all different kinds of music, and I think stress all different kinds of things. No, there should be a lot of different things, you know. Yeah, d definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night. Yes, you too. Okay. You can get in at four, on 475-1550 if you want to get through. Hello, you're live. Yes, my name is Bill. Yes, Bill. I'd like to know uh, what rock star was their greatest influence in getting into punk rock? What was That's your greatest influence? What rock star? Well, we've, see, we've been influenced by rock and roll from, from the beginning of rock and roll, from the 50s to the 60s to the 70s till... Up, you know, like all the way on through, like like the best of rock and roll, like, like um, the hits, number one singles, you know, the you know things like that. You know. How about Elvis? Did he ever affect oh, you? Oh yeah, of course. Of Elvis course. and you know. How and about Mick Jagger? Buddy Holly and uh, Gene Vincent and then Gene Eddie Vincent. Cochran and um, Was Gene the Beatles Vincent and, and um the and the Knickerbockers and the Dave Clark Five and the Dave Clark you Five know, and T Rex and Slade and you know all the good things, you know. Okay. All the good things, yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, have a good night. Hello, you're live. Yes, uh, Ephraim, as far as, as this goes as music, could, would you rate, uh, you said, uh, I don't, I just tuned in, so I'm not sure of all the names of all the Ramones that you have up there, but one of them mentioned that he likes melody. Does he really feel that uh, punk rock this is music Joey. in general? His name's Joey? Oh, yes. right, Joey. Uh, does he really feel that punk rock music in general would be something you'd, you'd call melodious? I do agree no, that... Punk rock I don't agree melodious. with that, that other person that We're called melodious. before that you should, uh, <laughs> you know, be giving a message in every song. You're out there to, to, to sing your song. What, it, it's, it's an art form, so in, in, every way, in whatever way that you please. But do you really think it's melodious? No, I, I said, I said punk, majority of punk rock is awful, right? And like, and like what we're doing is, I mean, I guess since we're, we were the first group to be called punk rock, you know. Do, like, you, do you go for the label? Do you think no, you are No, no, we're not into labels, but people are always going to label you whether you like it or not, so, right. you know. And um, like, like, we've been in, we, we like, we're into rock and roll and we're into, uh, into songs, you know, and songs haven't been around since, uh, since psychedelia started, you know. Right. Since, um, <laughs> The jams and um, you know all this and that, you know, that's when it all ended and all died, you know. Oh, could you also clear up a myth for me now? It seems that like anything you're going to get on a on a national media scale is many times tainted and not even the truth. Now, seeing you and listening to you speak, I mean, you're just basically into your own thing. Where as the punk rock that they've displayed on the front page and Johnny Rotten and, and all the rest, I mean, it's like, you know, go down, run down the street, and beat up people. I mean, it doesn't seem that you're into that. You're just into, you know, doing what what you enjoy as far as that. That's what I see from here. Well, they did it all, it was all visual, you know, like, you know, people getting beat up and their eyes poked out. It was a lot of crap. It was just, it made good headlines and that's why. And then, and then the other morons read the headlines and that's what and they like, go there to do, right? Yeah, right, right. 
see, that's the whole trouble with all these things, that things get so distorted by the media and something that may well, have like, a good basis is ruined. We hardly ever have any trouble. We don't, we don't have, there's no, see, there isn't, there isn't any violence and there isn't any of that, like, the Sex Pistols, like, that was their thing to, for them to get um, press and hype and it was all hype, you know, like yeah. they were just a hype band, you know. They, they went, they went, came out to, uh, to like, like Malcolm, and he had, and like, it was all planned, and, uh, and like, they got everything that they, ex that they, that he, that he went out, he went out seeking for a certain thing, and he got everything that he yeah. went out looking for. Uh, well, he played the people for a fool. He played well, I, you know, I, I find it refreshing to find a bunch of guys who are out to do their music, and don't oh, give a damn. Yeah, I don't give a damn about that. Yeah, they're, not in, they're, they're not into politics. <laughs> Excuse me, they're not into politics. Right, this is just in, that I admire. I admire the thing, if you want to use the term, to just say fuck you to like the things that don't make any sense or not. They're just out to do what they want to do. Right. And and that's I think that that is fine. I really do think that is fine. Also, Ephraim, I know you're one for nostalgia and. Whatever happened to Freddie and the Dreamers? Three know. big songs and it was goodbye. Yeah, they and they all the answers. <laughs> but, well, you know, I heard this rumor. Yeah. But I, I mean, like, I mean, like, I thought. Fred's what, in China. I heard that um, Elvis <laughs> Costello is really Freddie, you know, and yeah, you hear so many <laughs> things, The but only thing I know for sure is that the guy who can. played Eddie Haskell is a cop in Los Angeles. That's the only thing. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm really not into nostalgia. I'm just into. At different times, I'm into different things. I, uh, I don't want to put myself in any bag either, right. really. Well, I'm not trying to put you no, in No, I mean, in terms of... What's wrong with bags? I like A&P bags myself. And, and in Ohio, do you know that they call them sacks? If you go into a store and say, would you like that in a sack? I've also been in other places getting juice and a roll, and they asked me if I want a bag when I told them it was to take out. I mean, what was I supposed to do, put it in my pocket? <laughs> <laughs> Twice I asked, do you want a bag? Is this to, to stay to go, to go? Do you want a bag? No, I'll wear it. Uh, have, a, have a good night. Good night, gentlemen, and keep up, uh, keep up the good attitude, right? Keep it up. I'll keep it up. Bag it. <laughs> have a good night, Sarah. I'll keep it up. Hello, you're live. Yeah, listen, uh, Joey says he doesn't like to write depressing songs, just like to have a good time, right? Yeah. So what do you call the song you just played, Joe? Really? Uh, a good uh, time song? It's a love song. <laughs> <laughs> one other question. Where does Ethan buy his shirts? Why, you want this one? Yeah, okay, later, Ethan. Okay. <laughs> Hello, you're live. Fuck you, I... Oh, okay. Though, yeah. uh, our lines are free, 475-1550 and 473-5386. If you want to get through now, we have free lines. Hello, you're live. Hello. Yes. Yeah, that guy on your left. Uh, yeah. Does he talk? Does he, do you talk? Yes, I do. Who coordinates his clothes outfits? And, I do uh, it myself. You do it yourself? Yeah. That's a great... And the, the haircut, where'd you get it? Uh... I walk into every barber shop. Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay. I do it everywhere. What do you call it? Uh, I, I don't call it anything. You know, uh, this last one I just got a couple of days ago. I went out shopping. Uh, I was gonna, I was gonna buy some records, <laughs> and uh, the record shop was closed, and I didn't have anything to do. And there was a barber shop that was open, yeah, so I just walked in, in the bathroom. and uh, yeah. and I just got it. You know, I got I just told the guy, you know, just do it, whatever you want to do. You the know? camera just showed yeah. a close up of what's around you. It only back. cost me two fifty. You know. Yep. The camera just showed a close up of what's around your neck. What is that? You can't really see it. This is a. I think it's a hatchet. Yeah. A hatchet. Yeah. Is that signify? You know. Your haircut? Uh, I don't think so, no. No. I should have told Have a no. good night. Okay. Hello, you're live. Yeah? 475 and 473 5386. Am I alive? You're alive. Are you alive? I hope I'm alive. Okay, what's your first name? <laughs> My name is Paul Ann. Paul Ann, how are you? Fine, yourself? Pretty good, you sound really nice. Good. What's up? We're not nice, huh? What's up? I, I don't know, I just never heard of this group before. You've never heard of the Ramones? No. Well? And I love disco music. Yeah. And I like his shades he's wearing. You like what? His sunglasses. Whose? That guy to your right. 
You like, you like those sunglasses? No, the one to your left. The one to my left. <laughs> yeah. He makes Elton John look sick. <laughs> okay, and do you have a question? Yes, my question is, do they have a new album out? Yes. I haven't heard, heard it. What is it? What is Here, it? Here, uh, let's get a shot of that. Rocket to Russia. A little closer. Rocket to Russia. What's called? On Sire Rocket Records and GRT Tapes. Sai Records <laughs> and GRT <laughs> Tech. It looks good. Want to see the back? Yeah. This wow. The biggest selling punk album of all time. I'm from Russia. I will buy it. Oh my God. From Russia with love. Yeah. Lots of it. Okay, baby. You Take and me. Care. I'm Have alive. a good night. <laughs> Hello, you're alive. Yes, hi. Uh, I'd like to find out. I'm curious about the lead on the leather jackets and such. There's um, military insignias. And I was wondering whether or not it came with the jackets or that the guys are uh, collecting uh, different kinds of... They put uh, them on. They put it on? Yes. I see. Where did they find them? In the military In the parking stores. lot, you know? We found them then on You can get them in the Army Navy stores, I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah. I put no, mine I think they look, I I think they look in fabulous. I, just, I love them. those in Houston Street. You know, where the bums, uh, get the bums are hanging out. Yeah, you get the point shot. You know, it's like we have point shot. Like yeah, sometimes, sometimes. Yeah, There's 17 minutes. Like I'm yeah. I'm going to go into oh, battle. Oh, my goodness. So, like, yeah. 17. I got it. Joey, I'd like to ask Joey a question. Yeah. Uh, were you friendly with uh, uh, Harold and Teenage Lust and everybody from Harold Teenage Lust? Harold and Shirley? Harold, yeah, I remember them. What if it happened to Harold's group? I don't know, don't but I remember I used to go see them at um, the Diplomat or something, yeah. right? Yeah. Right. The Common right. Street and at the Mercer. Right. Yeah, I understand now David Johansson has had a single here. album. Whatever happened to those guys? I don't know. I don't yeah. know. I ran into a couple of Lori, Lori, and Leslie at one point, but I never found out what happened to Harold. I love Leslie. Uh, David Johansson <laughs> has had a single album, correct? What was that? Does David Johansson have had his own album right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, it's out. It's really good. Yeah, it's Is really it good? good. Who yeah. produced yeah. it? Blue Sky Records. Um, right. Richard Robinson and David Johansson produced it. Oh, yeah, Richard Robinson. Yeah. Hmm. And what label is it on? Um, Blue Sky. Blue Sky. Blue Sky. What, and uh, the rest of the dolls? They're, they're all doing various things. Johnny Thunders is in London trying to get things together and... Um, Arthur Kane has a group in New York, the Corpse Grinders. Um, Cell has the Criminals. Jerry is, he's, has a bunch of guys that he's getting a new group together he's with. with yeah. Lieber and Craig still handling them? Who, who else is there? Arthur is. Arthur. Uh, they're, they're all doing stuff still. You know? They were a real Krebs inspiration still their management? to us. They still with Lieber and Krebs? No, no. They dropped them. They're not with those guys. Um, I think they're all pretty independent. By the way, if anybody wants to call up at 475-1550, we have some well, free lines. Well, for, well, for further you information about album. the New York Dollars, you can write into the show and you'll get um, the bio. The bio. <laughs> That's right, I don't need it. Uh, who produced your last album? Tony Bon Jovi. Tony Bon Jovi and Bob Walters. Did you do it at Power Station? Yeah, they mixed it there. Great new studio. Yeah, yeah. We're going back there. Really good. That sounds really good. Stick with Tony. He's okay. Well, I wish you guys a lot of luck. What label are you on right now? Sire. Sire, Sire Records. Sire Records. Good. Okay. Excellent. When are you going out on tour? Oh, I don't know. I think July. we're gonna hold oh, back July. on it for a little bit. We're gonna play Jersey in July. <laughs> Jersey in July. <laughs> Who would you worry right, if you have a big national tour? Who would you want to um, go on tour with? Yeah. Um, we just finished one with the Runaways, and that was I nice. Think, I think we'd like um, to go on tour with the Rolling Stones or something. Yeah. The Ruddles. The Ruddles. <laughs> that's it. The, the Ruddles. Oh, right. The Ruddles. And who's who manages you? Danny Fields and Linda Stein. Fine. You ever run into Lance Loud? Yeah. And does he have a group now? Yeah, the Mumps. He's still with the Mumps. Yeah, as Good. far as I know. Sound. How's the group sound? The Mumps? Yeah. <laughs> um, I saw them not too long ago at Max's and they sounded very good. Good. Excellent. I just got back into town. I've been away from New York for over a year and that's why I was just checking up on what was happening. Where were you? San Francisco. How'd you like it? 
Loved it. Oh, that's one of my favorite cities. I have a lot of friends there. Absolutely. Do you know the nuns? The weather was fabulous. Didn't see a drop of snow except for going, you know, purposely going skiing. I wouldn't mind retiring in Sausalito, you know. Sausalito and Tiburon or Point Reyes. It's good. Touch of Europe and everything else that you could possibly want. Sitting in a jacuzzi all day. Well, they're doing a lot more music, uh, you know, many more studios, and uh, they're they're starting to get uh, an overflow from, say, L.A., where I guess a lot of the musicians are feeling that they're getting a little cramped in with TV and movies and everybody else. And finding S- a little San bit Francisco more is a very important stronghold for the new wave in the U.S. now. Huh. Definitely so. Um, well, I think Elvis Costello did a lot up there. Just uh, a lot of groups are breaking out. Uh, yeah, they he have, really broke Yeah, they around. have their own that aren't signed to labels and such, but they're playing around, and uh, more and more people are getting turned on to it, wow. which is good to see. Well, okay. lots of good luck to you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, have a good night. You too. Uh, 4751550 is free right now. Hello, you're live. Hello? Hello? You're on the air. Danny. My question was this. Um, I was right by like CBGB's for the past few A little louder, please. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah, I've... Go um, ahead. <laughs> the past few years. And you know, every night, like when I walk by, I always hear a group or two, and I've heard the Ramones, I believe. I've, I've heard your album, too. But the thing is this, you know, like, it sounds like... Um, the way that, that all the groups playing there are like a poor version of like the Velvet Underground or the Stones and that. It sounds like the musicians can hardly play, you know? I mean... We can't uh, play. I, I mean, I like, sure. your, I like your attempt. It sounds... It's interesting, in other words, but I find that like the musicians, like, they get up there and they would do what I would do on a guitar, you know, like, just strum away and then blah, 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 blah. Do you have any comment on that or... Uh, we need a new guitar player. We're, we're getting we're getting bored. You know what I'm saying. You know, I like I I, I like the sound. I like the basis of uh, so-called punk rock and that. But I don't. The thing that I, that I feel that neglects or needs oh, is uh, a little yeah, bit of. Hello, you're live. This is too philosophical. I'm sorry. They wanted you to go. You went. Goodbye. Yes. Yes. Hello? It's difficult to hear you. Wait, wait. Let me turn up. Oh. Um, have you done any work with the Sex Pistols? What'd she say? Have you done any work with the Sex Pistols? Or Blondie? No. No? We're just friends. Oh. Yeah. Um, the other thing, what kind of regimen of uh, food are you into? What'd she say? Give it again. What, what kind, kind of food do you eat? We, we like, you know, like we like uh, food. Joey likes strawberry yogurt. Strawberry yogurt and beer. More liquid. <laughs> <laughs> I like that uh, one. I'm on a liquid diet this week. A little bit of a time, you look a little bored. What are you guys doing after the show? After the show, you want to uh, like all get together? He's going to string me up. What, what, what are we going to do? <laughs> after the show, we're going to drink beer. We're going to go out and get a few drinks and have a cocktail. Where have are you a going? Co- a few cocktails. A Probably go down and see the Dead Boys. At CBGB's. Right. We're going Blitz. down to CBGB's after the show. Well, well, I think everybody should go down there, you know. I think well, you should buy like one of these t-shirts, too. They're really cool. With the, the Blitz concert designed by Arturo Vega. Right. Uh-huh. Okay, thank you. Okay. Hello, you're live. Yeah, I'd like to know if Joey's related to By the way, uh, the 4735386 number is free if you want to get through. Who? Yes? Hello. Yes. I'd like to know if Joey's related to Patty Smith. She's my younger brother. <laughs> oh, that's really cute. Also, I got another question. Yeah? Do, they, uh, do you ever think you're going to cut your hair there? No? Huh? Are you ever thinking of cutting your hair? Yeah. Well, I'm trying to find a new hair cutter, you know. Yeah? Yeah. But he only has them cut one at a time. My last, my, my last, my old girlfriend used to do my hair and we just broke up, so I'm trying to find somebody new, you know. You mean she won't do it? Huh? You mean she still won't do it? Nah. Uh, that's a bummer. around and we shop objects. Right. You know, <laughs> your, your attitude and your mellow attitude and your laid-back attitude blew me away when I saw you stand up on stage and go bananas. See that? You, you, uh, I didn't expect it. I really didn't expect it. Uh, you surprised me. Uh, 
you surprised me now, because now I've seen you, you guys on stage, and, and you're back here being very mellow and laid back again, and there's no comparison to you guys when you perform. You're different people when you're on stage. Um, Do you know what I'm saying? It's possible, well, yeah. we, we, Lately, we've gotten into, we, we didn't know the art of relaxation, you know, for years. And we've just gotten into it, so, like, you know. Do you think it's an art form, really? Sure. To relax? To relax? Sure. I mean, it's very hard to relax, you know. I could never relax before. Have you ever tried second walls? Yeah. We've tried everything. Do you feel relaxed? We don't relax? like them, though. Like, we don't... We don't like them like we like cabana chairs. <laughs> 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 Hello, you're live. Yeah, um, Ephraim? Yes. Yeah, uh, even though I'm 13 years old, uh, I've, I've heard that they're, I've heard their records, and I think they're very good. Is it, um, I think one thing they could correct, you know, just one thing, the faggot. Just one thing. <laughs> I <laughs> missed what, that. What was the one for He said his faggot. He lost, <laughs> 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 he lost <laughs> them all. Okay. They, they said, you're faggots. <laughs> uh, and they, they kind of, oh, I lost oh, two of you guys who tried to get through. Psycho, All our lines are free <laughs> now. It's 473-5386 and 475-1550. We've got five minutes left to the show. If anyone wants to call in, you're welcome to. What would you guys like to do besides music? No, that no. goes for all of you. I'd like to be a carpenter. You want to be a carpenter? <laughs> my my, my brother-in-law was an accountant. And he ended but, up, and then he said, screw it all, and he became a carpenter. And then my sister divorced him because of it. But uh, he's a happy carpenter. Uh, I, like a happy I don't want to do nothing like, except retire. I want to be a disc jockey. On what uh, station? On, uh, I don't know. Run, 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 run! What would you play? What would you play? Oh, we've done it, right? Me and Didi did a show once in Canada. Yeah, what's cooking? Yeah, in Toronto. It was great. Cook. And yeah. so we just cooked for about three hours. We got to be DJs and we played a lot of stuff. Like, I'm into reggae. I played some of We played the best. You're into reggae? Yeah, I really like reggae a lot. Have you guys spent any time over in England? Yeah, a lot yeah, of time. Too much, too much, much time. time. Uh, what, what, do you, we would what do you think of England? Well, oh, there. it's a nice country. You know, so okay. I, I, I just got I like back. the taxes. They're nice. Like know, taxes, where, where, where and they can it turn is. on a dime too. They can you know? Uh, everything's so expensive there. No, no when we go know. there, we feel really rich. I don't know why. Because we got broke. a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have a hit record over there, and uh, and you're. <laughs> and your big news over there, so I guess uh, right, you know you get you get to play the top scene. Right. What, what do you guys think about like John Rockwell from the Times? Every time I see an article by John Rockwell, it's always talking about the Ramones as the premier minimum minimal artists of the of the, of the music decade. scene. Of the music scene. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Did you ever think about that kind of thing? Not really. What is minimal art? It's uh, stripping it down to the basics. Right, stripping it down to the basics. Uh, do you? How do you feel about that when he says that you're minimal artist? Do you dig that or it's what? It's so silly because we're not that conscientious of what minimal artist. You know, you know, you know, know I guess we are, are but we're not. You know. Why do you, why do you find that people come down on you guys course just because you want to do what you want to do? They don't. Like we we everybody's into analyzing everything, right? They have to analyze. That's cool. They can analyze. But you don't have to we've deal been, with it. We've been pretty no, shocking like to a lot. It's, a, it's, a, it's amusing. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I'm alive again. You're alive again. <laughs> yeah. alive. How long were you dead? <laughs> so about a year. <laughs> a year? How when was did you it? last call? How about was it? ten minutes ago. <laughs> what can I do for I'm you? I'm haunting you. Um, I'd like to ask them something. Turn down my TV. <laughs> I'd like to ask them something. Is it, is it really hard to something. become, you know, you know huh? to get into the business world? Give it again. Is it really hard, you know, to become famous or is it really hard work? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's real it hard work. It doesn't pay. Yeah? <laughs> 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 I mean, if I'm, I didn't know, do it before, uh, you wouldn't do it now. No, I'd do it. But it, it's tough, you know. Yeah. It's like um, you have to... You just have to be into being abused, you know? Yeah, I'm used to that. Well. Oh, really? <laughs> no. Hmm. What are you doing after the show? I don't know. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. What do you got in mind? My place or yours? 
Uh, or theirs. <laughs> I don't know. Tonight's a bad night. Really? No, but really, all jokes aside, yes. I would like to become a singer. Uh, so do it. <coughs> right. I have confidence in myself. I so do sing. it. I've never had lessons. So and do I just, it. You know, I feel sorry for so many people who really can't make it big. You know, why aren't the doors open to everybody, just to people who know someone? That's the doors the are open to everybody. Too, right? right, that's how we feel too. You know? Yeah, you know, I feel, I feel for them. I, you know, I get a certain vibration that they really want to break through, like the Rolling Stones. And I've got to say good night to you. You do? Yes. Good morning. Good morning. I'd like to thank you guys for coming by tonight. This was a quick hour. Yeah. This really was a quick hour. We're about to go off the air in about 30 seconds. I'd like to thank Didi, Joey, and... Arturo? Arturo. Ah. Not Spin. That's not you, Spin. Oh, it's spin new man. Yeah. And this is Spin of the Dead Boys who are coming on just in time to say, say goodnight to the folks. Good night. I thought it was Phyllis. We're at CBGB's tonight. That's right, CBGB. CBGB, Blinker and Bowery, Ben from Johnny Blitz, right? Oh, you're in your whiskers, Kev. Oh.